Hello and welcome to this video where I will be making a two-piece set. The pattern I am using for these pants are the same as the pattern I used when I made Kylie Jenner's leather pants. I just made a few tweaks to adjust the width of the waist and the pant legs. What I did was extend the waistline and then draw a vertical line from the crutch line and up to make sure the waist of the pants could accommodate my hip measurement. Another tweak I made was to decrease the width of the pant legs as these were quite wide. I measured 2 inches from each side and then cut down from the crutch line. After this I sewed the two front pieces right sides together at the crutch line leaving 2 inches unsewn. Next I put the back pieces right sides together with the respective front piece and sewed down the outer side seam. This is how your pants should look at this point. Put the pant legs right sides together and sew along the inseam of each pant leg. After doing that it's time to finish sewing the crutch line. Match the right sides together and continue the stitch you made in the beginning when sewing the two front pieces together. Now your pants should be all sewn together and it's time to make the waistband. Measure the width of the waist of the pant, this will decide how long you should make your waistband. Then cut out some elastic in a length that fits comfortably around your waist. Not too loose but not too tight either. I decided to make a waistband with two channels, hence why I cut two elastics. You can decide to only use one wider elastic. It is also important to measure the width of your elastics to figure out how wide to cut the fabric for the waistband. Here I am cutting out the waistband. It's better to make it too wide than not wide enough. Fold the waistband wrong sides together and sew two channels. I made the channels a little wider than my elastic to make sure I could get the elastic through. Here you can see a close up of how my channels are placed and then it's time to pull the elastic through. Here is a close up of the waistband with the elastics pulled through. As you can see the fabric is nicely bunched up. Sew the two ends together to secure the elastics and so that the waistband becomes a loop. Next divide the waistband into four equal parts and pin each part to a seam on the pants. This will guarantee a nice distribution of the fabric when sewing the waistband to the pants. The pants and the waistband should be right sized together. When the waistband is pinned in place, sew around to attach it. After attaching the waistband, I went ahead and made the cuffs for the pants. Figure out how long you want your pants and then mark this on the pants. This will be the obby line. From that line, measure down your desired width of the cuff. My cuff ended up being 2 inches wide. Fold the pants wrong sides together so the fold matches up with the bottom line and sew around near the edge. This is how it will look afterwards. Then fold the pants so it fits with the upper line. This method makes sure that only the right side of the fabric can be seen, which is why I chose it. Make sure the cuff is the desired width and then stitch in the ditch of the side seam, so that there will be no visible seams from the outside. Here is a close up of the cuffs after I stitch in the ditch. As you can see, or rather as you cannot see, there is no stitch. If your cuff is still wanting to unfold, do some blind stitches to keep it in place. For the tube top, cut a piece with the length of your bust measurement and your desired width plus two times the width of your elastic. Then fold the edges and sew along, creating a channel wide enough for your elastic. Again, the elastic should fit comfortably around your lower and upper bust. After doing that, pass the elastic through and then sew it right sides together to create a tube.
And there you have it. Now you're done. Enjoy a new two-piece set. <laughs>